Tell me, like, when you were a kid, were you an extroverted, like, <laughs> okay. wild, creative? Well, I mean, it's funny, because people often say, you know, oh, were you bullied at school? And I've always just been like, no, no. And as time has gone on, I've kind of thought, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I don't think I was bullied, because I was so oblivious, I think, a lot of the time. Um, I was also brought up in a way where the sense of play was really important, which is, like, the greatest gift you can give to a kid is to kind of say, use this. Because, Your parents yeah, encouraged that, like yeah, you had a creative household. And yeah, absolutely, and, and um, that's why I think I kind of, the idea of boredom to me doesn't really, I understand what it is, but it's something which um, doesn't have great, it doesn't have a great weight ever in my life because there's so many things you could be doing and thinking about and creating. But I remember very clearly, and it's something which as time's gone on, it's become more vivid, was this memory that in school, I would always ask to go to the bathroom and then I would go and sit in the cubicle and I would talk to my watch. What? For a good long time, like a Who good- Who are you talking to? That's just myself, hence slightly concerned about impending uh, insanity, <laughs> early stages. But I mean, imagination is, it's what, we all have at our fingertips and it's quite extraordinary to transcend uh, the kind of chaos of like this life. Right. Um, it's just interesting and I think that's why like going to see theatre, um, I saw a reading of a Kenneth Lonergan play in New York and Adam Driver was doing it and it was just a bare stage and it was just him reading at a, at a stand with some other actors and it's just that the purity of that is so exciting because your imagination does everything else. Um, and it's also because of the talent of the speakers in front of you. But that combination, that's just, that's heaven. 